Hello once again, my name is Alejandro Garcia Maynes. Welcome to this Catharsis project and this new video. Uh, today we are going to analyze um, a social group very important uh, to the society that are the police officers. Well, the police officers have uh, different functions in the society. One of them is, uh, and the principal, it's uh, to give us the security of uh, not being uh, influenced by any kind of crime, of not uh, getting uh, punished for the things that we are doing bad. So um, the things that uh, the police are going to do is always analyze the situation, analyze uh, if someone is really uh, doing a crime or it's breaking the law, for then uh, they uh, will take the uh, current actions for then stop uh, these, these uh, crimes that are constantly uh, happening in the cities of the world. So um, I will analyze a uh, thing or a conduct that I see very often in the, in the society is that uh, Many, many people constantly are not agree with the police officers because uh, they think uh, they are abusing uh, his, uh, his or her power and uh, that the police officers use this power to, to do corruption things, to uh, traffic drugs or uh, things very strange I have uh, heard about the society that it's expressing uh, very bad uh, for the police officers. But my intention in this video is uh, to correct this vision that, uh, that the people and the society have, have uh, on this um, group of the society. So. Um, one thing very important is that you can't just a uh, job that you have uh, never done. So uh, if you have never been police, you can judge the police officers. So I have never been a police officer. I don't know how it feels to carry a gun. I don't know how it feels to uh, persecute uh, criminals, I don't know, a lot of things that uh, the police officers nowadays know like an expert of uh, getting the crime of our cities. So uh, I would like to change this point of view uh, of the officers by calling them that they are uh, very responsible, they are given their lives for us they are taking care about us. So uh, sometimes when we uh, have uh, a crime near our city or near our house, maybe we pretend uh, if it's a, uh, it's a crime that it's categorized like a low crime, sometimes the people that it's near uh, pretend to defend to the to the citizen that it's committed a low crime for then uh, justifying his actions by uh, not uh, by not permitting to them uh, to the police to uh, go with them so um, when we have this kind of situation We don't have never to uh, to start to get involved in the situation when uh, our police around us. So maybe I'm a citizen, and maybe uh, I think uh, someone is suffering uh, a bad justice of, of of a crime that someone is committing, and then I. I think that I should involve or I should defend my uh, my citizen because I don't have the uniform and the other doesn't have the uniform and the only person that have a uniform is the police officer. 
Well, this thing is the first thing that you should never do to uh, start to defend to the other people because they think it's that the officer is going to analyze how is the situation and if uh, this officer uh, really needs to get to this person uh, to the police car. So, um, obviously, if it's a, a crime that it's committed into a middle range or it's a crime that it's uh, categorized like a big crime, obviously the police officer, the first thing that is going to do is to uh, get uh, uh, get his gun on his hand and then maybe start to shoot or things like that. But um, the things that I have seen in the society that happens it that is that constantly uh, society it's judging to the police officers because they think they are killers or because they think uh, they uh, abuse of their power. But the thing is that they need to solve different things on her mind. The first thing is the psychological situation. So they need uh, to be under their emotions. They need to establish their mind so then uh, they can take the, the correct decision for then uh, punish a, a criminal person. So um, this situation, it's very interesting when it happens in the society, but uh, we can see that sometimes the people start to run because they don't uh, want to, to be involved in the situation, but they are uh, sometimes uh, the people approaches to the police officers for defending the citizen. So the thing here is that we must, uh, must have to leave the officers to do their job. So uh, if we let the officers to do their job, uh, it will be easier for the one who is committing the crime and for the ones who don't want the crime. And obviously for the ones that are solving the crime that are the police officers who are stopping this crime. So um, I have mentioned these uh, two points, these two central points that we must have uh, in mind about uh, the police officers and how uh, this, this will uh, get uh, a better point of view of the police officers. So remember the police officers, uh, you have to respect them, you have to, to put into a good attitude with them. So if maybe you are doing something wrong, the first thing is that okay, saying okay, uh, let me uh, do. I, I will do whatever you you said. I will follow the law, and this would be easier for you. And if you really have any doubt, uh, you can consult it with the officer, because sometimes we get panic because. We know that we are committing a little bit uh, crime, but we see it like insignificant, or we uh, we see it like uh, it doesn't matter. But the thing is that when we are considering these things, is when we start to get nervous and when we start to get more problems with the police. So the first thing that you must have um, to do is to control yourself, to control your mind, to control your emotions, to do not get panic, do not get scared uh, when uh, these situations happens, to leave the officer do their job and then uh, you will start to receive uh, good uh, responses from the officers that are in charge of, uh, of the security of any kind of area. So. Of course, we have, uh, like in the frontier between Mexico and United States, um, we have a lot of security, we have a lot of uh, things that uh, maybe, obviously, uh, the security increases. So, uh, when you 
are in hands of these officers, the first thing is that okay, uh, let me let me think about it. Let me know. That is the wrong idea. You should do what the police is going to tell you, and then your road is going to be better. Obviously, if you don't have documents, if you don't have uh, to prove that you live in Mexico or that you live in USA, uh, maybe you will have a problem. But uh, it doesn't matter if you have the problem, if you control yourself, if you follow the rules, finally uh, they will give you uh, a, a resolution more easy and, and you are not going to be scared, you are not going to be uh, panic. So sometimes the people, this is the third thing that the people is committing. So this third thing is based on uh, on the goal. Like uh, I, I'm thinking that, that if I don't have gold for paying uh, something that I am doing bad, uh, paying a tax or paying uh, anything, maybe if I don't have this goal, I'm getting worried or or if I have this goal but I don't want to pay or, or things like that happens when you are uh, doing a crime, a low crime by the way. <coughs> but the thing that I am recommending to you is to pay uh, your, uh, your mistakes that you are committing by your crime and then leave. This is the best way to do the things. It sounds like uh, really obviously, but sometimes we are not getting our emotions in order and the feelings starts to get uh, winning us into these kind of situations. So this is my uh, social ad advices. This is my sociologic, sociological point of view of this group of the society that it's very important. So I have never, yes, I have questioned some police officers. So that's why I'm getting this theory onto videos for then I can show you uh, my points of view, the points of view of the officers of my area. But obviously uh, the ideas change uh, uh, in each country. In each country it's different. Maybe in China the officers are different uh, in the meaning that maybe uh, they don't have corruption or maybe in USA don't have corruption or maybe in Russia don't have corruption. Any, any kind of country uh, ha have a different uh, police officers, different personality, different uh, characters uh, and different things that are going to give this uh, these rights or this state of rights uh, into each country. So, um, unfortunately, uh, here in Mexico we have a low uh, right of state, but we are constructing more. Uh, this environment, this social environment into Mexico for them um, do uh, more with our security, to do more with our country. So I hope uh, this video will arrive to other countries for then uh, you can analyze uh, my point of view of how I, I see oversee, uh, of police oversee officers, sorry, and uh, how it changed in each country. So thank you very much for watching. I will leave my web page uh, down there. Um, I upload some articles, uh, not every day, but uh, every month, maybe I start to upload some articles uh, that uh, you should read for understand more what I'm telling you. If you want to share some article, you can do it. Uh, you can make uh, a donation for this company named Catharsis, that I'm the owner of the company. If you are interested to make a donation, if you are interested uh, to do any kind of consult, please let me know. 
uh, on my website on my website and I think that's all subscribe like comment and share